Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. It's Tuesday, so y'all know what that means. Another episode of Tuesdays with a T. So folks, how you been? I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We are officially in September. And um, man, this year is kind of like at this weird kind of standstill in which it's not passing by fast enough but it's still going by pretty fast and I don't know if y'all share my sentiments but that's just how I feel we're in the latter half of the year so I mean for many this year hasn't been kind to us all but for some you know you're managing just fine which is all right so folks for today's tea, I present to you, which is something I have presented to you in the past, it's the Republic of Teas um, assortment, but I don't know, I call them super cubes, super cubes or um, sampler cubes, and this is what I really love about Republic of Tea, because they feature some of their more popular uh, lines of tea such as hibiscus which I have in front of you uh, their cup of chocolate uh, you could do an assortment which I've shown in the past and now they're doing a wellness um, tea which is a wellness assortment which is like some of their be well um, and other teas that are more health benefit so, folks, I don't know why I put this up, but, um, yeah, I decided to cold brew some hibiscus tea, uh, this time coconut, because this particular pack features four of, um, most of their flavors in the hibiscus line, which is, you can see right here, natural, which is unflavored, key lime, pineapple lychee, vanilla apple, blueberry, and coconut. So, I've had these teas before. I haven't had all of the flavors. As you can see, you can hear the shuffling of the um, assortment cube. I can even show you the inside, which is pretty cool. I forgot to. But they come individually wrapped. This is the unflavored or natural. And you get four a piece. So for a piece for how many flavors? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So you get 24, which is not bad. I don't know the exact price though, y'all, so forgive me. But this box has been recently opened because um, it has most of the flavors in here. I think I bought a box for my mother, but she didn't really open it. So, you know... Uh, it's a shame because now I'm digging into it. But I do have all of the flavors um, in the in the individual canisters as well. So, I mean, um, I'll just do a quick, you know, overview. Um, well, I'll read their description. The exotic hibiscus flower, hibiscus sab sabdafria. Sabdarfria, no, Sabdarifa, excuse me, is a tropical marvel with many health benefits. Our caffeine-free premium hibiscus steeps a deep crimson cup. <laughs> y'all are going to laugh <laughs> when y'all see what my eight-hour cold brew looks like. Um, it hails from Nigeria, where hibiscus tea is known to help cool the body in hot weather. And hibiscus has all, or hibiscus can also help in maintaining healthy blood pressure and cholesterol levels. It is known to contain antioxidants, contributing to a, maintaining a healthy immune system along with a balanced diet. Hibiscus delivers hints of berry and bright citrus flavors. This bold tropical infusion is pure hydrating refreshment. Steep and serve hot or let it cool and pour over ice. Enjoy sip by sip rather than gulp by gulp. And of course, those statements about the health benefits such as 
uh, can help cool the body in hot weather, help maintain healthy blood pressure, cholesterol, and um, can contribute to maintaining a healthy immune system. It's not concrete, but it helps with um, those things. Um, it's not a drug, so they can't, like, a Republican tea makes, can't make those claims. Because if they do, they'd have to submit this tea as a drug. But y'all, deep crimson red. Y'all ready for this? This is how it looks. <laughs> it looks a little pale, but it's not, it's not the fault of, um, Republic of Tea. It's more or less, I used the four coconut tea bags for a quart um, size pitcher. So, and I didn't let it steep overnight. I just let it steep for eight hours. And um, I think you gotta, for cold brewing, you gotta let it go for a long period of time to get that same flavor that same look, excuse me, not flavor. But yeah, y'all, um, I'm still gonna try it as it is. Um, no love lost. So first, folks, and I'm not gonna take the straw out just yet, but I bring to you, this is Republic of Teas Coconut Hibiscus Cold Brewed Iced No Additional Sweetener. Cheers. Fabulous. I get that coconut taste, which is what I was worried about. That's not my verdict. Don't get me wrong. That's not my verdict, y'all. But I was wondering because I really didn't get the scent as I opened up the individual packs of the coconut. Um, I was like, mm, is this going to radiate that coconut flavor that they're broadcasting for this? And um, sure enough. I taste the coconut. Not so much hibiscus, though. But, um... It's not the end of the world. I, I, I it, It's my fault because I didn't really let this cold brew for a long period of time as I should have with my other cold brewed um, teas. So, folks. For the sweetener... I was a little worried if it didn't have the coconut taste, but irregardless of how it was tasting without the sweetener, I was going to crank out this, my Tarani coconut syrup. And y'all, I do enjoy the taste of flavoring my drinks with Tarani sometimes as well. Um, I have vanilla syrup, I have peppermint syrup, I even have some lavender, and, um, you know, just a whole bunch of, well, not a whole bunch, like, for the most part, I have a good variety of syrups. Yeah, it's got, it's got a sweet smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a serving, which is two, uh, two as I point with one finger, two tablespoons so here we go that's one you can hear the glug 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 <laughs> there's two so i'm really hoping to amp up that coconut flavor and to make it okay sweet you know let me crack out the straw, my straw from Zaxby's, which I forgot to use. But yeah, it's kind of, I'll show y'all, it's kind of turbid because the syrup is kind of turbid itself. So yeah, let's give it a nice whirly woo. I'm pretty sure like if it were to, if it had its original deep crimson color, it probably wouldn't change. But because I didn't, um, 
let this cold brew long enough. It has this like weak pale color. And also, y'all, I only used four. Um, I only used four um, of the tea bags per the tea assortment cube. But I usually would use six um, tea bags per quart pitcher of tea. But there we go. That's the finished product. It's looking like grapefruit juice, <laughs> to be quite honest. But here we go, folks. This is Republic of Tea's Coconut Hibiscus. I know it's hard to believe because it's pretty light. But this is their Coconut Hibiscus with a serving of Tarani flavored coconut syrup. Cheers. definitely got a nice coconut type drink I'm kind of tempted to put some alcohol in it but I don't have any but uh, <laughs> it doesn't really taste like a hibiscus drink and I'm wondering if I flash chilled this um, tea would it have the same effect or you know if I brewed it how I usually brew, cold brew my other teas would it have that same taste because I'm also being tricked with my eyes as this is tasting like um, not hibiscus tea and I was tempted y'all I, I I'll admit I was tempted to put the two um, natural flavor or unflavored hibiscus to give it that oomph and red color and the satisfy that six tea bags that I put into cold brew I'm thinking I should have done that, but I didn't want to um, take away from the coconut hibiscus. But I might just go on and do that. Um, but it, it it definitely just tastes like a sweetened coconut drink. I don't really get any hint of hibiscus. So with that being said, y'all, it's verdict time. So, folks, in the case of Republic of Tea's Coconut Flavor Hibiscus, thanks to this beautiful Super Flower Tea Assortment, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad. So, I would rate this tea unsweetened. I would rate it a... Uh, I'd rate it an okay... And I'm wondering if that's because of my flub of not including the, you know, additional two um, tea bags in which I would like to have, you know, that deep red color. And also, I, I barely get the hibiscus taste I do get it and it's got that cooling type of sensation but I wanted like a nice mixture because hibiscus y'all is the only floral component that I will tolerate in my tea hands down anything else rose hips rose dandelion chamomile I don't it's like mm, if you can make it work sure but hibiscus straight up I love hibiscus I love hibiscus so to not be able to taste it even though I was happy for the coconut flavor being apparent the hibiscus kind of is like drowned out by the coconut flavoring which is odd now when it comes to sweetening the coconut hibiscus with my coconut syrup <laughs> out of my rating scale of good okay bad I would rate it I'd rate it a good but it's a borderline good in which it could sl easily slip into okay territory now the reason for that being is um 
it's just it's odd for um you know i would want i guess the aesthetic kind of throws me off because of the clout the turbidity of course you wouldn't get this with a regular sweetener such as simple syrup, sugar, um, stevia, whatever the case may be. But yeah, this doesn't look like, <laughs> this looks far from hibiscus tea. I mean, it's kind of there, but it's not there in the flesh. Like, like I said, I'm drinking with my eyes too. So it's looking like some grapefruit juice with some some additional citrus or whatever that makes it cloudy or i don't know maybe some diluted grapefruit juice that yeah that, that makes more sense but yeah it's not traditional hibiscus tea which i am accustomed to so i mean it tastes good as like a unique coconut drink but i'm looking at this like a tea and i'm not getting a tea from this so, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Tuesdays with a T. Thank you very much for sticking on by. Really appreciate you. Um, Y'all know the drill. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the products that I try, the reviews I push out. And, folks, I will see you tomorrow for Wellness Wednesday. And, yeah. Y'all know the drill as I sign off. Take care. Take it easy. Make it a great day today and every day. Be safe. Stay vigilant. Don't go out unless you necessarily have to. If you do, please wear a mask. Please have hand sanitizer. And practice thorough hand washing and social distancing. Um, and yeah, until then, folks. Take care. Bye now.